you're judging what you you win as a team, and I think that this team has got this opportunity tomorrow to to answer that. And uh, if they do, then one will be very proud of them, and um, one will justify our opinion of them. I think it's a, a very, very good Manchester United team emerging, and I think they will get better. The minute you walk through the doors at Old Trafford, the history, um, the characteristics of the club um, from the past and from what the manager puts through the club now um, is, is it works as inspiration. You want to become part of the, the furniture, really, and, and be remembered in the history of, the, of, of Manchester United. And to do that, we know we've got to win big things, and t tomorrow we've got a great opportunity to do that and become part of the history. Yeah, it's great for me. Um, I was sub last time in '99. Um, you know, it was a great experience for me, great time. And to actually, you know, be in the final, be involved all the way up to the final, um, is obviously great for myself and great for Manchester. And, you know, all, all my friends and family are looking forward to it, and I'm sure the rest of Manchester will be as well. In last year's final, we were at uh, the point of we'd played so many games with the same 11, 12 players, really. We had no real reserve to, do, to change a game in the final last year. This year we have. That will make a difference. Sometimes it, the game is won by your substitutions. And uh, I feel we're, we're, we're in a strong position in that sense as opposed to last year. And uh, I think we just have to try and play our best game, you know, hopefully. In a game of football and, of course, in a final like this, you don't have possession for 100% of the game. You don't have absolute control for 100% of the game. There are, the, your opponents play a part. But I think we're, we're, we're detailed enough in, in the strengths and weaknesses of Chelsea to know that we're going into the game in an equal footing. And uh, as I said earlier on, it really is important that I trust my players. They maybe don't have the overall experience, you know, um, of Chelsea in terms of age and, and some of the players they have, but they've got the nerve, they've got the courage, and I think that will make some difference tomorrow. It's a cliche, but it's the stuff of dreams tomorrow, um, and you want to grab it with both hands. Um, these opportunities don't come round uh, every weekend as a, in a career of a footballer. So, as I said, you've got to be up there to, to and step up to the mantle when it comes. Um, I think... The, the main thing I think about the, the, the team tomorrow is about approaching it the same way we approach any other game. If we start doing things differently or letting the, the occasion get to us and thinking we've got to change the way we approach the game, then that will be to a detriment to the, to the team. So if we just prepare the way we normally do for a game, I'm, and we've done a lot of preparation this week, uh, tactics-wise and fitness-wise uh, during the week. So I said we just got to approach the game the right way, and, and hopefully that will be out for us to, to come out victory. So Alex, is there anything you would like to say before we finish? to the media <laughs> in addition to all the answers or Rio or Wes because you have you the opportunity now to say something to all of them I love you all did you get I've, that I've come to spread peace thank you very much to Sir Alex and uh, Wes and Rio thank you